Okay, so this is a quick one. I did mention this board the other day. Uh, this is a motherboard I've had for quite a few years and I've been wanting to make a Hackintosh for a long time on it but there's been various reasons why it's not worked. Um, I was going to run it with the integrated graphics but you know, as you learn more about uh, Hackintoshes you learn kind of just how to build them better, what settings don't work, what do work, why things break and stuff like that. So this was working and I've bought a really cheap RX 550, 60 sorry and this I'll put the link to this um, in the description, the one that I bought it's a I think it was about £45 so really cheap uh, and it's fully working so let's see if I can zoom out so at first the graphics weren't um, they were a bit washed out and they were not looking so great so I eventually just modified uh, the EFI to take out a boot arg that was in there which was um, AMD Mog Pagira took that out then mod modified the uh, display properties through hacking tool so I've got to hacking tool PCIe uh, sorry patch and then what I did is select the platform info that matches the chip so this is the UHD 630 graphics but because because this is a built on the I do about this Mac it thinks it's a Mac Pro um, 7 comma 1 so that doesn't have integrated graphics so the patch for the integrated graphics wouldn't work because the SM BIOS is not set uh, not correct so to get it really a bit more compatible um, I've had to just do the patch for the uh, 4 gigabyte card now it's coming up here with this extra line Radeon RX 560 uh, sorry 460 560D Pro and a full long line I will modify that in a minute and I'll just take it out to get the correct um, correct card showing up here but yeah that's that's what the is the patch actually comes from hacking tool and then you go to patch at the end and here it says you can zoom in a bit let me zoom in here it says graphics audio PCI PCI and devices and all so all you would do is select you want graphics audio PCI as long as that's set then you'll click generate patch and then within this you I don't just copy the whole thing because there are stuff in here that you don't need and it will mess up your system if you put it in so I copy it copy it over to a like a word a text editor this is a sublime text paste it save it as a config.p list uh, with sublime text when you if I do new and do paste and then do save and then you overwrite this and just do config config to and then dot p list sorry I'm not focusing looking at keyboard p list so now when you go save it will come up saying do you want to use the XML or do you want to use the p list so we're going to change it to a p list and then what we can do is go to uh, OC auxiliary tools and then do file open and it will see it as a p-list so obviously it won't show anything because everything's going to be in the display uh, uh, port section uh, and then this is all the different things that you can put in so this is the patch that I ended up putting in well it's not a patch it's just really settings uh, so the reason why it's showing it that in the thing is because of this so if I open up mine and now and change it I'll do file open if I, if I, if I, 
that, 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 that. So, and then I can modify this to do uh, take out that. Take out that, and then do. So this is a 560. Take that out. Take that out. And save. Baffin Radeon RX 560, like that. So now when I reboot, it will show the correct uh, card. Uh, and it's already showing that the patches is, is working. I'm going to change this value to the same as well. So, copy just to be just to be sure that it's the same. So that's that VJ. So that's the audio, and that's the. Um, sorry, I'm not even focusing on this today. So my next thing that I need to get done is to add a 2.5 gig NIC uh, and then get the drivers for that working. 10 gig, some 10 gig cards work and that's something else I want to look at in the future is to get 10 gig base T or some other, uh, some other card working. But yeah, we'll, we'll wait and see. That's, that's later down the line. I think for now I'm going to uh, just get this in a case and get it booting up. One of the next projects I want to visit is that little HP system which is over here which is an RX, it can hold an RX 560 as well um, so I'm waiting again for the GPU on that. Yep, yeah, there we go, done. So that's it done now. It's um it's attached it and added it. RX five sixty. So as always my uh, EFIs will be on GitHub. I'll put this one on GitHub as it is. Uh, and if there is any updates to it then I'll I'll update GitHub. Um so if you have this board I would recommend uh, buying an RX 560. Make sure it is Polaris. Make sure it's uh, the correct, the Baffin core, not the uh, Lexa core. Uh, there's a few things you need to look out for. But if you've got this board and a similar process, processor, an i5, i7, or i9, with UHD 630 graphics and a similar setup, then you're good to go. Uh, be, install the EFI and that's it. But I'll do a full full kind of breakdown on the system once it's all finished uh, and then we can kind of go from there and then the next video in the next month I think is going to be on the HP one and this will be an, uh, a Ryzen Tosh which is my first I've always done Intel's but I've never actually built a Ryzen Tosh so that will be an interesting one it'll be a Ryzen Tosh with a uh, an RX 560 so that would be really cool but yeah I'll see you in the next see you in the next configs are the best your yellow so bad it's a mess think you can scale this high and watch your system crash and die I look for you though with the root right Edmund power day and night Kiki revolution in full flight tech warriors ready to fight Oh, 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 oh.